Eitel, The Journey of Wisdom, Confucius and the Way of Virtue. In the ancient land of Zhou, during a time of great turmoil and moral decline, there lived a young man named Li Wei. Li Wei was a diligent scholar with a thirst for knowledge and a heart full of curiosity. His village was nestled amidst rolling hills and serene valleys, where farmers toiled under the sun and elders gathered to share stories under the shade of ancient trees. Li Wei's hunger for wisdom led him to embark on a journey to find the renowned sage Confucius. He'd heard tales of Confucius's profound teachings and his mission to restore virtue and harmony to a fractured society. Determined to learn from the great philosopher, Li Wei set out on a path that wound through rugged landscapes, bustling towns, and tranquil villages. After days of arduous travel, Li Wei arrived at the city of Khufu, where Confucius was said to reside. The city's streets bustled with merchants, scholars, and travelers, each pursuing their own pursuits. Li Wei made his way to the Temple of Confucius, a place of reverence and learning, where scholars gathered to study the sage's teachings. As Li Wei entered the temple, he was struck by its grandeur and the air of tranquility that enveloped the surroundings. He joined a group of eager young scholars who were engaged in a spirited discussion about Confucius's concepts of benevolence, righteousness, and the way of virtue. Days turned into weeks, and Li Wei immersed himself in the study of Confucian philosophy. He listened intently to the lectures of learned scholars, debated ideas, and absorbed the ancient texts. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the temple was bathed in a soft golden glow, Li Wei found himself deep in thought under the whispering branches of a centuries-old tree. It was at this moment that Confucius himself approached Li Wei. Dressed in simple robes and radiating an aura of wisdom, Confucius greeted the young scholar with a warm smile. Greetings, young seeker of knowledge, he said. What brings you to the temple of Confucius? Li Wei, overcome with a mix of awe and humility, bowed respectfully and replied, Great sage, I have traveled far to learn from your wisdom and guidance. I seek to understand the way of virtue and how it may illuminate the path to a more harmonious and just world. Confucius nodded thoughtfully, his eyes reflecting the wisdom of a lifetime. He invited Li Wei to sit beneath the tree, and as they spoke, the moon rose in the sky, casting a serene glow over their conversation. For nights on end, Confucius shared his insights with Li Wei. He spoke of the importance of filial piety, the value of compassion, and the need for self-cultivation. He recounted parables and anecdotes that illustrated the complexities of human nature and the challenges of leading a virtuous life. As the days turned into weeks, Li Wei's understanding deepened, and he began to see the interconnectedness of Confucius's teachings. He marveled at the sage's ability to distill profound wisdom into simple yet profound truths. And so, under the moonlit sky and the watchful eyes of ancient sages, Li Wei's journey of enlightenment continued. Upon parting ways, Confucius bestowed upon Li Wei a small scroll containing his teachings, a precious gift to guide him on his path. Li Wei returned to his village with a heart brimming with gratitude and a determination to share the wisdom he had gained. Years passed, and Li Wei became a respected teacher in his own right. He established a school in his village where he imparted the teachings of Confucius to eager minds, inspiring a new generation to embrace the way of virtue. And as the years rolled on, the ripple of Confucius's wisdom spread far and wide, bringing light to a world hungry for guidance and moral clarity. And so, the legacy of Confucius lived on, carried forward by the unwavering dedication of scholars like Li Wei, who understood that true wisdom lay not only in the pursuit of knowledge, but in the embodiment of virtue, and the steadfast commitment to making the world a better place for generations to come. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the story, like, and subscribe to enjoy more philosophical content.